Hey everybody, this is Miss A and I'm here with our homework um, video. I did do this video with the kids today. It was part of what we worked on in class. We worked on some of the board problems. Um, the video didn't process correctly, so I'm gonna go ahead and work on this, um, do a couple of them to let you guys um, get some help with this. So let's look at number seven. It says 10 pints is equal to how many cups? And my friend Anyaris, she put 20 because one pint is equal to two cups and what she did was she took two times ten which equals twenty so that's how we solved um, five through ten that's we used our conversion sheet and I will um, put a or I'll take a picture or I'll put it up there on um, YouTube as well the conversions but the kids do have those sheets um, they may have forgotten them, but I'll make sure I get one on there so next we are looking at comparing when we compare, we need to compare like units. Here we have ounce, or pounds and ounces. So I'm gonna work on number um, 12 for us. So for every one cup, it's equal to eight fluid ounces. So what I'm doing is I'm taking 10 times eight, which is 80 OZs and 80 OZs, and they are equivalent. Once I change them, this becomes the new um, comparison, and 80 is equal to 80. So that's how I would do this. All right, let's look here at number 17. This is adding and subtracting of combined units. Here we have hours and minutes. This is eight hours and 30 minutes minus six hours and 25 minutes. Um, my friend Donna did this one for me and she regrouped because we can't take five from zero, that's 10, so 10 minus five is five. We regrouped, that made it a two, two minus two is zero, and then eight minus six is two. So that's how we solved this one. Here we have adding, we always start with the right side. Four plus three is seven, and we just bring down our units. Seven plus four is 11. Now. Let me give you an example real quick. Let's say eight cups and four ounces plus seven cups and eight or six ounces. If I were to do that, that equals 10 ounces. Actually, let's do 14 ounces. So that's 10 regroup of one. So that's 20 ounces and that's 15 cups and 20 ounces. I can't have this because there are, for every one cup, that equals eight ounces. So what I'm doing is from here, I would take 20 minus eight, I'm subtracting out ounces, and I'm giving it to cups, so that's plus one in the cups. That leaves me with 12, I'd have to do it again. Again, plus one, and that leaves me with four, so I have four ounces, and then 15, 16, 17 cups. They could have problems on their test that resembles something like this. So they need to be aware, and again, they will have their conversion sheet. All right, let's look at um, number 20. This is about time. Um, we have what we know. We started at 10.30. We have one hour and 40 minutes. What time did rehearsal end? There are two ways to do this. We could add, which gave us 70 in the minutes column and 11 in the hours column. Obviously, we can't have 70 minutes because there are 60 minutes in an hour. So I subtract out 60 minutes, but I give it to the hours. So that becomes 12, 10, and it's PM. And I showed in the two different strategies. This is adding and subtracting, and this is a number line, 12, 10 PM. Here we have standard adding. So my friend Fabiola wrote out the problem, and you see how she lined up her cups and her quarts. 2 plus 1 is 3, 4 plus 3 is 7, and for every 1 um, quart, there's 4 cups, so we can leave it that way. 7 quarts, 3 cups. Here we had, um, we are figuring out, we have 2 kilograms, and we want to know how much that is in grams. For every 1 gram, there's 1,000 kilograms. 1,000 times 2 is 2,000. Number 23 is the same type of problem. Um, it, we have a three-ton truck. How much is that in pounds? My friend Carlos wrote it out, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, because that's one ton, two tons, three tons, and then we add them together, it's 6,000 pounds. Let's look at number 24. This is a time. We have an ending time of 1.15. We... Um, we canoed for an hour and 20 minutes prior to that, so we could work it out this way. 115 
to go back was 15 minutes, so that left me with five minutes left and one hour, and that would be 1 p.m. because that's minus 15 minutes, minus 15, and then go five minutes, that is 12.55, and then one hour is 11.55, and it is a.m. because we went from lunchtime after p.m. When Once we cross over 12, it's gonna switch, so it'd be a.m. Here we have um, where we need to figure out how much more milliliters. So it gives us the information in liters. We have to figure out the difference, which is one liter. And then we multiply that times 1,000 because our conversion for every one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So one times 1,000 is 1,000 more milliliters. Here we have decimeters. Um, and my friend Javier wrote it out for me. One meter is equal to 10 decimeters, 100 times 10. There are one, two, three zeros, and one times one is one. And let's look at 28. Um, this is where we are looking at our conversion sheet and figuring out the relationship. The relationship, we look at the first two lines. It is one to two. We would use our conversion sheet. It says customary units of liquid. We'd look under liquids and find the one that says one to two, which is pints and cups. Relationship is one to two, which means we multiply by two. And here are our ordered pairs. We just write these numbers together. One, two, two, four, three, six, four, eight, five, ten. The last one is um, a um, plot line plot. We're given the data information. We have to write our information from least to greatest. That's in size, not the number of times it occurs, but the size. One-fourth is smaller than one-half, and one-half is smaller than three-fourths, and three-fourths is smaller than one whole. I also write that information on my number line in sequential. One-fourth, one-half, three-fourths, and one. I give it a title, and then I plot the data. This, this is how many times that piece of data occurs. And then we answer the question, what is the difference between the longest time and the shortest time? This is the frequency, this is time. So I'm going to subtract my largest, which is four-fourths, it's still one whole, minus one-fourth, which equals three-fourths. So the difference between the um, um, longest time, which is one full hour, and we can look at it this way, 60 minutes, one-fourth is my shortest, the whole time is here, so if I subtract this shortest time out, that leaves me with one, two, three, or three-fourths, or 45 minutes. Um, I hope this video helps. I'm really sorry I didn't get to post the kid video. They did a really great job, but my phone just messed up. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit subscribe, give me a like, leave some messages, let me know you've been watching. Thank you.